ten recruits. I am Judicator Dax, and you lot are here to learn under the expert tutelage of the Masters of Melee Magthir. Today's lesson will be about the hierarchy of the Church of the Spider Queen. From this day forth, you will fight and die for the glory of Loth, or in more literal terms, by the commands of the priestesses of Loth. It is through her clergy that we will conquer the Underdark and enslave the surface dwellers. The church teaches us that fear is as strong as steel, while love and respect are soft and useless. Take these lessons to heart. Next to you are comrades and blood brothers. But if you or they ever show the slightest hint of weakness, be aware there is never enough sacrifices at the temple. Only the strong may be allowed to live in freedom. When fighting for the priestesses, remember we do not kill all we fight. The clergy delights in the subjugation of other races, especially our surface kin. What we capture we put to good use, either as labor or as an offering. The church is led by Quintus Bainry, the matron mother of House Bainry. Each noble house is led by their respected matron mother, who is also the highest ranking priest of Loth. Obey them as if it were the Spider Queen herself giving commands. You will do well to placate yourself to even the lowest of their ranks, for to displease them may very well lead to a fate worse than death. The priestesses of Loth are in a constant struggle to gain and keep the favor of their goddess, and a wise male will stay out of the way of their sparring. The clerics are taught that only the strong survive, so they believe that the Spider Queen looks with favor upon their competitions and delivers her favor to those who come out on top. As males, you should not expect to gain her favor. The best you can hope for is not to draw her ire. Walking the streets of Minzo Baranzan, you may see processions of priestesses, they are to be obeyed in all things, and they will exact swift retribution on those who do not. Furthermore, as every child knows, it is a crime punishable by death to harm or kill any spider, as these are her messengers and servants. Remember in all things, we are the arms that grasp the knife. It is her will that guides our blade. If you fail this in any way, you will be quickly sacrificed. I see the questions in your eyes as I say these words. The Spider Queen loves chaos, and her priestesses are bound to give contradictory orders. How do I tell what orders to follow? Who is most superior? The church has no strict formal hierarchy, as this would be anathema to the Spider Queen. Ranks and titles change from each community, house, and even factions within the temple. The most common titles are as followed. At the very top we have the matron mother of Menzo Baranton, Quintus Bainry. She has been our leader since the fall of Terrell Bainry, and the Bainry House has been at the top since the founding of Menzo Baranzan. Below her are the revered mothers, often an elder or experienced priestess. Anyone who is younger but still has power will be titled revered daughter. This will be an up-and-coming power player from the family houses. Treat them like fire. Ally yourself with one of them, and you can go far, or fall on your sword for their mistakes. Below these are simply the priestesses, sometimes addressed with the honorific of revered, such as revered elestium. I seek an audience. 
A priestess will usually still require the test of Loth to be passed. A revered daughter will usually have gone through all five. Do not speak of this with the clergy. The tests are a private matter, but you should know what they are. The test of loyalty is the first trial. Next comes the test of strength. Then the test of lies is next. Finally, the test of metal and the test of doubt. Failure to pass any of these tests will lead to death, or worse, being turned into a dryder. While you won't be put on any trials of Loth, you are still responsible for gathering slaves and sacrifices needed for the temple. Surface raids often bring the most profit, but raids on neighboring cities in the Underdark will also be an option. Prisoners are to be given to the priestesses, and the clergy will conduct their rites within the innermost sanctum of the temple. Males are not allowed into these rites, so you will have no need to learn what goes on. In all things, I tell you the truth. Obey the priestesses. Fear the priestesses. Now that that is covered, let's move on to insurrection strategies and how to put down slave revolts. Identifying their leader, often charismatic, they will gather. 